What's going on everybody? Uh, Mikey Rocks 18 back with another review video. Uh, this is another SB review video, of course, it always is. Um, do I have any Jordan videos coming? Eventually, I don't know, we'll see. But uh, yeah, there is other videos coming and a couple different shoes I picked up. But uh, first off, I would like to apologize for the last SB review video I did. I had no idea the sound was that bad, the sound quality was terrible. I totally apologize for that. Uh, I'm going to try and get it fixed up, but it'll uh, all depend on when we have time to do reviews. I still have a lot of other shoes I have to get through before I can go redoing stuff. So I'm really sorry about the quality on that one, guys. Uh, please excuse that. I had no idea the sound was that terrible outside on the new camera. So uh, we went back to the old camera with Paul just so we could do this one. Uh, so these are uh, Bruins, actually. I don't think I've ever reviewed a pair of Bruins. I had a pair way back in the day, a pair of the black and white ones. I don't think I ever what are the De La Souls? Uh, dunk highs. No, they're not. The ones that I got you, the the electric relaxation, those... Oh, the Trap Call Quest Blazers. Trap Call Quest, those guys. Yeah, yeah, those are Blazers. Bruins those and Blazers are, blazer. are very similar in lower, but upper is a little bit different, but we'll get to that. So, um, I had a pair of black and white Bruins, uh, with the little blue hit on the tongue, but I actually skated those and shredded them up in Portland before I even started my YouTube channel, so I never got through reviewing those, like, I shredded those apart. Uh, Bruins would probably be my favorite SB to skate in. Uh, I've only skated these a little bit. Yes, unfortunately, I have worn these a bit, um, before getting to review them. I really just couldn't wait to wear these. Uh, got these over at Atlas during their, I believe it was their winter sale, and I actually picked these up for like 30 bucks. These were $30. So, uh, the, the official colorway is dark gray and black. So, pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and get into the shoe. I really love the materials. I uh, really love everything about the shoe. love everything about the Bruin, so let's just go ahead and get into it. Uh, black outsole with that uh, gray uh, kind of blazer midsole. Uh, same, you know, the stars around there and everything. So that kind of blazer midsole, so that's how it's similar a little bit to the blazer. Uh, then you get into the upper, which is a really nice kind of suede, really nice, well, was pretty nice, but of course I've worn it, so. Then you get into uh, this black, it's almost like a frayed denim, but I want to say it's more of a canvas, right? Yeah, that's canvas, yeah. for sure. It has the like the look of a frayed denim, but it's a canvas. Goes all the way up on the swoosh, goes around to the back of the heel with the Nike stitching in gray, that fraying along there. And also, what I really like about the Bruins is the detail, and it actually has, to me, I think it adds for more durability, that extra little piece of canvas going right around there in kind of that different shade of gray than the rest of the upper, which I really it like. It's kind of brownish, though. Little, it is a little bit brownish, I would say. Yeah. So, I really like that. I think it's a nice little hit, nice little addition to the shoe. Uh, getting into the rest of the upper, uh, it's pretty much just full suede all the way around the eyelets and everything. You see that little kind of like a... Uh, kind of triangle cut in pattern kind of around the kind of toe box a little, or not the toe box, but yeah, the toe box moving into the rest of the eyelets a little bit. Uh, stitching is all gray, uh, actually a little suede patch around the toe, going into the kind of nylon gray tongue with the white, or kind of off-white, I guess, uh, tongue tag with it's a like Nike. Like a light gray. Yeah, like a light gray with a Nike SB stitched in black, with kind of like the off-white light gray kind of laces. Uh, extra laces on these were black so there's kind of what it would be with the black laces well. yeah they were flat laces for both so let's see moving into the rest of the shoe black insole the gray nike sb inside there black mesh inside liner and uh yeah uh, i guess that's about it for the shoe uh, oh uh, i guess a lot of people were calling these the uh unfluff uh bruins um so i did a little bit of research i guess the the fluff Bruins uh, only released in Europe, uh, at least that's what I've heard, I'm sorry if I'm wrong, I didn't know too much about them, but uh, I guess the fluffs were the reverse of this, where it was kind of, I think it was black with the gray swoosh, I think, but uh, like I said, sorry guys, I didn't do too much research on it, uh, wish I had done more, but I guess these were kind of being labeled as the unfluffs, not necessarily in terms of rarity, but just in terms of, I guess, materials and placement of colorways, things like that. So, uh, these are actually what I had on feet today, so I'm just going to show you what they look like on feet right now. So, really comfortable. Uh, I definitely recommend staying true to size with these though, uh, if you're whatever shoe size you are. Um, normally, that's probably what I recommend getting in Bruins. Uh, they will start off a little bit tight, but uh, the more you wear them, it actually stretches a little bit more and it feels really nice. And I've kind of been wearing these nonstop for the past couple weeks. I've only had these for about two weeks and I think I've worn them about like five times in like the two weeks I had them. So yeah, 
here's a look at them on feet. Really nice, really love it. Nice low top shoe. Uh, if you're into kind of the thin tongue uh, low top shoes, it's definitely the way to go. Uh, personally, I'm more into like the, the fat tongue stuff, but the thin tongue just works for me on these. Works really nice. Yeah. Nice placement. Looks great. And uh, just a really nice shoe to kick around in. Good shoe to have. Just kind of, uh, you know, slip on, slip off. Uh, kind of, this is what I was rocking before the Janoskis came out in terms of shoes that I could slip on and go skate in, but also, Straight snake. you know, like rock, you know, just rock them out, hang out with friends, things like that. So then the Janoski came along and then Bruin kind of seemed like it fell off for a little bit, but it's now kind of starting to come back and I'm really enjoying that. So uh, here is the Bruin, I guess, unfluff SBs on feet. And uh, yeah, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. And Karma Loop rep code uh, Mike18, capital M I K E 1 8. And uh, of course, check out Yo Poly P for everything Adidas. And uh, Brain, anything? Yo, <laughs> Yo, let's kick. Brain's bike. Yo, let's kick it as well. And yeah. I got a new vacuum exactly. cleaner. We got a new vacuum Yeah. Yeah, and check like out Brain's the new vacuum uh, cleaner. Check out, uh, check out our vlog channel, Yo, let's kick it. Brain is uh, also part of the new vlog channel. Brain has joined the Yo, let's kick it team. Uh, he was always part we're of the team. We're He's starting a vacuum swag videos. <laughs> this is true. We're starting vacuum swipe videos. So yeah, that's a Dyson. Look I think out it's for a, that, boys. I think it's called a DC25 or something like that. <laughs> yeah, Anyways, so we'll see you guys later on future Yola Secret videos, Paul's videos, and my videos. So I'll see you guys later. So, peace. <laughs>